Hello friends, welcome to the February plan with me in the Agenda 52 planner. I took out some Valentine's Day themed stickers that I had here and um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and play around with all of these stickers. Just going to show you a little bit of what they look like inside and I don't even, I don't think, actually I love these stickers but I don't think I use um any of them maybe one sticker out of this pack one or two um but i have some other plans that i want to use these stickers for and then i also have this 100 percent girl pack and i'm not sure if i used any from this one either but um i like to just take out the stickers that i think will look good with the layout that i'm going to be doing um so i'm going with more valentine's theme ish uh layout you can say and yeah so i just kind of take out whatever i think will inspire me to create with those uh specific stickers whatever i think looks good so this is what i pulled out pretty much um and I do take a lot of stickers from most of these packs. As you can see, this is the faith-based pack, which I use a lot of stickers from here as well. Um, every month, I think I pretty much use some from that pack. And then I also did take out this bridal pack as well, since it's uh, my anniversary month as well. And then this one did have a Valentine's sheet. I think it was like one sheet in this pack. And yeah, it was these um, hearts there, the conversation hearts, but I don't end up using those either. But yeah, just take out whatever, you know, inspires you to create. And then I did show this in my last video. This was a Temu haul and it's a mini portable printer. And I thought this would be great to use and show you um, how I can use this in my planner or journals or anything. They're really fun um, to create on. And yeah, stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to be showing you um how i use this pretty much and a kind of a little review on what uh i think about it and how it works so yeah stick around for that if you're interested and let's get right into it so we're gonna go into uh february and i kind of played around going back and forth with the front page where it shows like the february breakdown and then um the actual calendar pages on the next page um so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and play around with these stickers and you just watch me do that i'm gonna do a little bit of talking about my process and yeah what i um have planned and so on so this month is my anniversary month as well as valentine's day is on the 14th so uh which by the time this is posted that has already all passed and yeah, so I'm just going to be filling in also what, um, like, filling this out, like, day to day, um, not on camera. So I normally do all that, like, personal uh, planning off camera. Um, but this is just really, I do all these videos monthly, uh, just a quick, fun layout um, I like to share here um, on YouTube with you all, so... Uh, I really have fun with doing these. I have a whole playlist if you're interested in watching uh, the playlist below. Um, so yeah, this is now going into the new year. I did pretty much a full year, I would say now, marking February. Will be a full year of me actually doing these planner videos. So I've been having a lot of fun with these. And let me know in the comments below what kind of planner um, you're using. Uh, do you do a digital planner? Uh, do you have several planners? One planner? I know it's, it's nice to have different kind of planners for different things. Like I have one for schooling, one for like... Uh, content creating one for like personal stuff you know things like that so uh this one is really just a one that i just play around with and just jot little things down here and there um it's more like my pretty little planner because i don't really like to write too much and like get it really messy um it's just really <laughs> for looks and i jot down like little things here and there 
um that go on throughout the month because you can kind of switch these out that's what i like about these binders as well you can customize them to however you like and kind of you know change out the inserts and such so that's why i really like these i think with the happy planner most of the planners um you can do that except for the ones you know that you buy with the pages that are already um intact uh, but the binder ones like this you can and so in this area I had to look at my calendar because I meant to get my stamp with the dates on it so I can mark it on here and I didn't get to do it I know I said it last month I need to add the the numbers on here so I was just checking like um, Wednesday was the 14th uh, so I just put a little heart there for Valentine's Day and yeah, so I was just, um, I'm going to go back and, like, kind of number the days and all that, so, but I do keep referencing my phone a lot, um, and I'm going back and forth, whatever, like, I see, like, any, uh, stickers in the book that I want to put, like, in the front or the back, I just could really just play around back and forth with it, and this month is a very simple layout you can say then last month i kind of like put a lot more into it um this month i feel like this layout was very simple uh just put a couple hearts here and there you know to make it like valentine theme -ish and such i also like to add like other uh, holidays even though i don't celebrate certain uh, things like this month also was uh lunar new year so it's a Chinese holiday. So I also like to note that that was on the 10th. So again, I'm just looking through um, the calendar and I like to note like other events that are going on around the world or anything like that. I kind of like to note it in here as well. So like Ash Wednesday was uh, also on the 14th, same uh, day as Valentine's Day. I like to put that in there just to note certain things. And then um, I just realized that not only was it my anniversary this month uh, hit 12 uh 12 years of marriage right so married for it was my uh, wedding anniversary uh, on the 18th and it's also a one year here on youtube with this channel so uh that also i need to know all of that i'm gonna um be putting that in the notes later on as well and yeah i thought that was pretty neat i just realized that and then today is also president's day so uh, my husband's off of work and yeah it's just a chill chill day um so finally want to get this video out um he also did get me a new camera so i'm using that camera now for this hopefully the footage is a lot more clear than my previous videos you may notice um a difference or you may not but i do notice a difference so uh, i am liking the way this camera is working so it's really nice and it looks like i'm struggling to get that sticker out um okay that one says to have and to hold i wasn't sure where i was gonna put that um but yeah i just love playing around with these stickers and doing different things with them um it's just a way to, you know, use up the pretty stickers. And, yeah, so I have a whole playlist of all my planner videos um, in the past. If you're new here and you haven't seen them before and this is your thing, you like to, um, you know, plan and whatnot or just play around with stickers or whatever, there's a whole playlist um, that I'll have linked below as well. And... I normally try and link um, anything I use in here, but the planner uh, is Gen 52 and that's from Hobby Lobby. And most of these stickers um, I got as well from Hobby Lobby or any of those craft stores. My goals um, are the two I mostly go to and like Joann's I normally go to for like yarn and papers as well. So I normally have a really good selection for like a cardstock there. But, um, yeah, this month started off, the kids, uh, well, my youngest was very, very sick, so we had some appointments we had to go to, and went to urgent care, and whatnot. She's now just kind of getting over it, but, yeah, she's been, like, 
with some kind of a cold and whatnot. So they said it might be strep throat. They tested her for strep, but it came back negative. But the doctor said she still thinks it's strep. So she ended up giving her antibiotics. So she took that for a couple of days and then some other medicine. And yeah, she's just now starting to feel better. But yeah, so we're dealing with that. And um, yeah, what did we do for Valentine's Day? Honestly, it was chill. I don't think we did much. Um, so yeah, I was just looking through these stickers, and I normally also look through my phone for, like, photos and stuff like that. I want to start putting, like, um, more photos in my planners, too, but I'm not sure if I want to, uh, share that or not, so, I don't know. I'm, like, very particular on what I do share here, um... But also, lately, I've been very into uh, crochet, and so I've been making so many different things. Also, I am planning for another market where I'm going to be selling um, some of my journals. I know it's a little hard to sell journals in person just because it's, like, such a niche, like, thing. And it's hard to find that market for um, people who actually look to buy those things. And, yeah, just the pricing for them and the time that you put into it. I just don't know um, if I'm going to continue to sell those type of things at, like, markets or whatnot. But, like I said, I have been getting into crochet and I'm thinking of um, selling some crochet plush and a couple of other things that I've been making with my uh, laser machine. So... Uh, yeah, I've been playing around with that as well. Uh, that was a gift I got for Christmas, I believe. And yeah, it's been fun playing around with that and learning that as well. So, I also need to do my nails. So I, I grabbed a little nail polish there, as you can see. Um, I'm not sure if I want to go to the nail salon or if I just want to put like press-ons. But I've been kind of like leaving my nails lately, like to just breathe from you know, all of that stuff, like the acrylic, the glue, the everything. I didn't even polish them myself. So, yeah, i just been using, like, um, cuticle oil around, and then that's pretty much it. But, yeah, I think my nails need need a little breather. But, yeah, I just hate the way my fingers look without nails. Um, anywho. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. So... That's that. I do have some other videos that I have planned um, that I'm kind of behind on. It's so funny because when you do these videos, there's like sometimes there's so much you want to say and do on them. And then after like you um, finish editing or, you know, publishing the video, you realize like there were so many things that you meant to say and didn't say or something came out a way that you didn't expect it or even um or, or you didn't mean it or even sometimes when i'm doing something so simple um like this layout thing i'm like oh why didn't i put that sticker you know over there or whatever <laughs> right it's like so such like little things but it's funny like after the fact you realize these things um but yeah that's why i, I kind of like to do certain things that are just like mindless you know like you just I'm just putting stickers wherever. Like, I remember in the beginning, you can watch back my my beginning videos of this. Like, I used to really, like, nitpick and, like, take so long on where I put, like, every little sticker. And it had to be, like, perfect. And now, like, my stickers are all crooked. And I don't know. I'm just going along with it. And I'm just, like, I think it's a mindset of, in life, like, you know, when you take things too serious it's just i don't know it life seems to be more stressful <laughs> like when you just relax let it flow and, and lay back you see it just comes together nicely and it's just not as stressful so i'm just trying to live happy peacefully <laughs> less stress um and yeah this is just one of those mindless things i mean crafting and creating and, you know sharing on youtube and all that it's just like you know positive vibes and just chill you know, so I really like the way this layout came out, and 
I wanted to show you guys what I have planned with this. I want to do more using this on um like journal journaling, but like in my junk journals, I think they look really nice. So this is the Walk app. Um, something like that. You need to download that app in order to use the, the uh, this device, right? And you can print pictures on it, but it's going to be black and white. So I wanted to show you here, you know, it says like labels, templates, um, you, know, you could do storage labeling. But on this specific one is black and white. You can also get um, sticker, sticker uh, paper to put in here, but mine came with like a printer, um, a printer like receipt paper in it but i just wanted to kind of show you like the different things that you can use it for so you can make labels on here and i guess you can also like download different fonts and whatnot and use different um things you know resize it again this is black and white so color in this case wouldn't really matter um but you could definitely do these to-do lists i think they're really really cute uh, so I found this little, like, little birdie with a little heart here. Like It was like a little Valentine's Day um, to-do list here. And I thought it was so cute. Like, you know, you could just put like a grocery list or like, you know, a list of what do you have to do for a day. Or like here I just was like putting like a, edit a YouTube video, edit a TikTok video, you know, whatever I was uh, planning on doing. Um, but for the sake of the video, I just wanted to kind of show you how cute it looks and how easy it is to work with once you have it, um, downloaded, you know, download the app, you can do everything through your phone, the pictures and everything. And the photographs come out, um, kind of like vintage -y looking. So if you like that feel, um, I think it'll look really great in a junk journal and, you can use it for planners, journals, like really anything, I think, to just add on the side, little note, um, labels, packaging labels. Um, I use it also to put like my QR code there as well. So that's Paige on the side there. She was uh, with me. She They like putting their hands in the in the video but yeah you can either glue this on with a glue stick you can use double-sided tape you know or you can just put it in with a paper clip however you want to attach it um but yeah so there's just so many different things you can do uh, name tags labels uh, packaging labels um little words and sentiments i think will be great with the sticker paper but again this is like that receipt paper that i'm using so it's a little thinner you can also use it like ugh, to print out like little coloring pages for the kids like that's what i ended up doing um here because page i made page like a little to-do list so cute you're gonna hear her in a second here um and she was so excited for it and then you can also do like little coloring pages So I gave her, I printed out a few that we did for Valentine's Day. And then, um, yeah. So here I wanted to show you what it looks like if you print out a picture on here. So you see it's black and white. It looks pretty good. This is actually the photo here in color. And I made this little beanie for her. So I wanted to uh, show you how it actually looked in color. So pretty. Um, but yeah, I think these come out really nice. You can see it's, it's pretty good quality. I don't think this is uh bad at all uh for what it is this is also on receipt paper like i said she had a lot of fun uh, coloring those as well and i did a whole review well i did an unboxing uh from temple so i got this from temple you can go ahead and check out the description below i'll have it linked as well with a coupon code if you like to use it it'll be in the description box below but yeah i can see using this like for business and all kinds of things i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see you later bye